guess it's afternoon. I was going to say good morning, but it's afternoon. Not quite. One minute, it's afternoon. It's Tuesday, October 8th. It is my day off. I am on my way to get my nails done. I'll tell you, I just couldn't roll out of bed this morning. I discovered that I really need a good pair of shoes to do my job. My back has been hurting. But uh, I mean, it hurt when I was in bed and I put a heating pad on it this morning, so it helped. I'm just not used to those certain muscles being used all the time. It was better after I got up and started moving around a little bit, walked around the pond. I put my good tennis shoes on, and it's much better right now. So I'm going to make a point of when I'm canning this afternoon to keep my good tennis shoes on because my back tends to hurt after I'm done canning. But I gotta get that sauce taken care of because I have another two boxes of tomatoes I have to get done or I'm gonna lose all the tomatoes. Um, my scale today was down finally, not down as far as I'd want it. I mean, I, I weigh in officially the day after tomorrow. I had forgotten my lunch tote so I walked all the way back to the back of the store to the workroom or the break room and then walked all the way back up and then where I parked in the employee, employee parking lot was closer to the main entrance and of course at 10 o'clock they close that main entrance you can only go through grocery so I had to walk further in the parking lot so I think that's how I got my four miles in yesterday I did walk around the pond once with Molly last night after I got home, which actually did my back a lot of good. The problem is I'm standing in one position a lot, so I'm going to start walking around, which we're allowed to walk around in our space, you know, so I just, you know, I can't stand still for very long, otherwise I'm going to have aches and pains. So, but right now, Ben Gay and a heating pad are my friends. I think it's ironic that on Friday I, I reach full retirement age and now I'm working full time. Oh well. The paychecks will be nice like I've said. So tomorrow I work 1 to 10. I don't remember what I work on once on Thursday. But I think I kind of have a mixed up schedule for the next couple weeks. I did ask my boss if it was, was going to be possible for me to get that Sunday off to go to the Browns game. Although if they don't keep start winning, I don't know if I want to go. Um, and he said no problem, so I just have to write down the date and let him know. So he'll just move my ships around a little bit. Um, not much else. I mean... Today I had kind of intended to do some deep cleaning. I think I'm going to wait till Friday morning and do that in my kitchen because by then I'll have my tomatoes done. Um, but my kitchen really needs to be deep cleaned and I need to move some shelves around again. Next week I'm going to get a different bookcase for my cookbooks and stuff because I need the shelves I have them on for my canning stuff. 
canning jars because you know pumpkins are starting to come in so I need to get pumpkins put up and some butternut squash and then I need to start making soups I was thinking yesterday on my way home about how I just need to make like a big pot of that turkey taco soup that is zero points and I can take that and heat that up in the microwave at work and that's a good you know good dinner maybe take a little side salad with it so it was interesting one of the gals that uh, that uh, started the same time I did worked at the subway inside Walmart before she came over to Walmart and I was asking her about that rotisserie chicken which you know on the Weight Watchers app is zero points so I asked her if that was all white meat and she said no it's just all mixed up chicken. So my question to Weight Watchers is how can it be zero points if it's not all white meat? If you know the answer, let me know. Because I do like that rotisserie chicken salad. Um, and if you don't, you know, if there's no cheese or anything on it or olives, it's zero points. understand how it can be zero points if the, if the dark meat is mixed up into it because dark meat chicken is not zero points and I don't know about turkey is dark meat turkey zero points I don't think it is but it'd be something to find out for Thanksgiving with Thanksgiving coming up you know yeah just things I ponder in the night <laughs> So anyway, I'm about at my nail place and I got to tell you, I'm surprised these nails have stayed on because some of them are flipping up. I get them done once a month, but now that I'm working, I think I used to get them done every other week. Um, and I think I might be going to every three weeks now because this was, I th you know, they grew, grew really, really far this, this month. And I was trying to think, I wonder why, but I had started taking a vitamin D supplement. So, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I mean, it could. But my doctor wanted me to take a vitamin D supplement, so I've been taking it. Matter of fact, I got to take it today yet. But that and the one uh, blood pressure pill that I'm still on. But uh, I bet the vitamin D has a lot to do with this. So, anyway, I'm thinking about going to every three weeks instead of every month because this last week, it's been really hard to navigate things with these nails. I don't like them long. I think they're pretty long, but I don't like them long. They drive me crazy. And if I have to do computer work, I don't like the click, 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 click. And it's hard for me to open anything. That's the link they're at right now. It's hard for me to open stuff. Um... It's just hard to maneuver. So I'm going to get a nice little subtle fall color on here. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I can't do orange because this is the week of the OU Texas game. I can't wear orange at all this week. So. Okay, well I'm just kind of rambling on now. It's my birthday week. <laughs> my daughter told me yesterday she sent me a package that may or may not make it to me by my birthday, but I don't know what it is, but um, anyway, that'd be nice to get a present.
I've reminded my sons that my birthday is on Friday, but they were non-committal. <laughs> so, all right, well, here I am. So let me show you what I've had to eat today on my glorious, beautiful day off. Okay, I just got my nails done and I stopped at the store to get some cat food. Birdie. Anyway, uh, I was going to go do something else, but I decided I'm going home because I'm hungry and I almost had a meltdown at the store. I mean, I started looking at stuff like cookies and cakes and stuff that, thinking, man, I'm hungry. And then I was looking at pre made sandwiches and all kinds of stuff and cheese. I decided I'm just gonna get out of here and go home and fix my lunch. So I uh, picked up some bread because I was running low on the type of bread I like. I'm gonna go home and have a turkey sandwich, I think, or something for, for lunch. And I haven't had any of my snacks yet today, so I'm gonna have uh, probably a cup of grapes, maybe a cheese stick. Um, yeah, I need to go home and eat. So that way I'm going to avoid the temptation of stopping because I'm not going by any fast food places on my way home. I'll uh, avoid that temptation of stopping and, and uh, getting something I really ought not to eat. Sometimes you just got to play the mind game, you know? Mind over matter, I guess. to win at this game especially since my weight was finally back down this morning it would be nice to see 198 tomorrow or at least on my birthday on Friday start giving me a little bit of a cushion away from that 200 mark so anyway yeah that's what I'm gonna do fighting off the temptation even though I'm very very hungry right now and I you know I didn't think to bring a snack I it was, it's almost three o'clock I left the house um it was almost noon when I left so I've been gone for three hours it's been almost four hours since I ate and uh so it's time then I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my lunch and then get sauce on those tomatoes so I'll be busy the rest of the day. And I forgot to fill up my water purifier last night. So I need to do that when I get home too. And I, I use the purifier at this place because, uh, you know, it's just one of those Brita. Because this water does leave a lot of sediment. I've noticed when I've been canning, it leaves a lot of sediment. So it's country water. I don't know. I'm not sure it's city water. I mean, it's not well water. So I don't know what kind of water it is. But it's got stuff in it. So, uh, anyway, I got to do that, and uh, Molly will have to go out again here pretty quick. Busy day. Busy day on my day off. And I'm glad I don't go in until late tomorrow. So, anyway, that's my day today. So, I'll be back to show you what I have eaten today I'm staying on track no matter what so like I said weight loss is as much of a mind game as it is an eating game so sometimes you just have to force your mind to think in the right direction so, just like setting up a budget you know, when you set your, your financial budget up, you know that there are some sacrifices you may have to make, and there's tough decisions you have to make with your money. It's no different when you set up your daily food budget. It's just like setting up any other type of budget. There are decisions you need to make. Some of them are hard, some of them are easy. But just like with a successful 
financial budget, your food budget, as far as your point budget, you know. The success of that is based solely on the decisions your mind makes. So, it's always your strongest thought. That's what wins, your strongest thought. So what is your strongest thought? If you're struggling, like sometimes I do, like I'm right now, like because I'm really hungry and I want to eat everything in sight. Uh, what is my strongest thought? Do I not care and just give in to my hunger? Or do I stick to my budget and say, I'm going home. I have food there that is appropriate for my food budget, my points budget. That's what I'm doing right now. So, face it. All of us who are on Weight Watchers have a food addiction, or we wouldn't need Weight Watchers. Addiction is hard. Withdrawal is hard. But we need to choose our hard. Do we want to be fat? Do we want to be overweight? Do we want to be unhealthy? Or do we want to get healthy and be fit? It's a mind game. And I want to tell you, sometimes, it, for me, I failed. Sometimes I give in to those temptations. Sometimes I give in to the addiction. So, right now I'm talking to you because I'm pushing through this addiction by talking to you. <laughs> I know that I've got turkey at home and I've got stuff that I can eat there. And number one, it's not going to cost me any more money. And number two, is within my points budget. So, I think it would be interesting to run your points budget like a bank, you know? It's like every day you get to withdraw 23 points. And every time you spend a point, you have to put a point back into that bank. You know, put a, a point back. Do something like that, you know. But then again, it's like I like I said, it's a mind game, and right now I'm playing a mind game. I gotta tell you, it is a gorgeous day. It's 70 degrees, sunny. It's the perfect fall day. So what's Sue doing? I'm canning tomatoes inside on this beautiful fall day. And I'm getting a late start. My nail appointment usually only takes two hours, and today it took close to three. So, but they're pretty, and I like them. I'm going to go home and get my gloves on and start working with tomatoes. And I'm only wearing gloves because I just got my nails done, and I don't want to mess them up. Because right now they're nice and shiny. And working with tomatoes sometimes can take the shine off. Oh, sweet, I have a light. I don't know what the deal is. Everybody seems to be out of cat box liners. Walmart's out of them. Kroger's is out of them. I don't know what the deal is. Why is all of a sudden there a cat box liner shortage? So right now, I, I just kind of jury-rigged a garbage bag in it. And, I probably, and I'm going to do the same thing because i got to change that litter box today. So, Okay, I'm going to go now because I'm really rambling on. And I'll be back with my food for the day. For my breakfast this Tuesday on my day off, I'm having two eggs for zero points. I have a quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup for zero points. And then I have one brothel recipe for three points. Um, I've got four grams of butter on the brothel for one point. My banana topper is zero points. So five points, four point, three, four on my plate, <laughs> I have to think. <laughs> two in my coffee, so I have six points for breakfast. For my lunch today, 
Uh, I'm having a turkey sandwich. There's two slices of bread here for two points. Um, it's the Nichols 35 calorie bread. I have a tablespoon of Miracle Whip light for one point. Um, some turkey breast for one point. It's uh, 56 grams. A cup of uh, grapes for zero and one cheese stick for one point. So one, two, three, four, five points for lunch today. Well, hi everybody. Um, if you notice, I didn't do my live uh, feed tonight. Um, I was off work today. I had my nail appointment and then I came home and started working on these tomatoes and I needed to get that jarred up what I had done and then I still have two boxes of tomatoes in my refrigerator that probably tomorrow in the morning I'm going to try to get them cut up before I go to work. Um, either that or I'm going to wait and maybe just cut them up on Friday on my day off because I, I cook them for a couple days anyway before I do anything with them. So. Uh, I'm off again on Monday. That would probably be the next time I have to can them. Uh, so, anyway, I was so busy, it got late. And I ate dinner late, and I didn't record it because I was so hungry. I was talking to my son while I was eating my dinner, and all it was was I, had, I made volcano chicken, which is just a chicken breast mixed up with some jalapeno peppers. And I had two tablespoons of fat-free sour cream on top of that for one point. I've only had 11 points today. It's 9 o'clock at night. I am still kind of hungry, and I want to have a few more points. I'm just trying to figure out what I can have that, you know, it's not going to make me go off the rails. I'm thinking, I'm, and I am kind of want something sweet, so I'm thinking about having a couple of slices of my zucchini bread. Um, I don't have any popcorn or any salty, crunchy stuff, but uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But uh, I don't want to have just 11 points tonight. So anyway, uh, my jars are rattling because I'm, I'm pretty close to being done. I got, I forget how many jars, five jars, five pints of sauce. And I did seven quarts of juice out of this batch of, of tomatoes. Sorry about that, my timer went off. For to turn my the heat off off of my jars, so I need to go to that. Turn the heat off and take the lid off so it stops bubbling. The sauce turned out really nice. So, um, anyway, uh, that's been my day. The day just went by so fast today. It was busier than what I thought it was going to be, you know, for a day off. And now I'm kind of, oh, I forgot I picked those up at the store. I just remember I have some English muffins here. I could do something with that, too. But I'll get something. I'm going to eat something else. I just don't know what. After I get the jars out, I have to let them set for a few minutes before I can take them out. Um, but I did stay on plan, so that was good. I'll tell you, I was going to clean today and just <laughs> came home and started going on those tomatoes. And that's I've been in the kitchen all night, so... Uh, one of these days, I have to deep clean that kitchen, so I'm thinking maybe it's going to happen on one of my days off next week. So, anyway, like I told you earlier in my video, I was down. My scale was down again today, finally. It was uh, 199.2. So, my son's girlfriend works at Big Boy. And he was, I just spent two hours on the phone with him and she's working tonight. And, uh, he said, you know, they'd probably be able to get you a free, free pumpkin thing over there. I'm thinking that sounds pretty good, but first of all, I don't want to drive over there. And that's probably more points than what I have. <laughs> so well, I have 12 points left at the day for the day right now, but I'm sure anything over at Big Boy is more than 12 points. 
So, but I, like I said, I am going to have to come up with something to eat. I just have to decide what. I didn't do my meal planning Sunday night. That's what my problem is. So I'm my see if I don't have that up in my refrigerator, I'm just kind of lost. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for me today. Sorry, I didn't record much. I didn't record my dinner. I think I I'm showing you my I did show you my breakfast and lunch. Um, but I didn't record my dinner. By the time I got around eating my dinner, I was just really hungry, and you know. Andrew doesn't call me that often, so when he calls, I just, you know, talk to him instead of doing much else. I was talking to him while I was filling my jars with tomato sauce, and uh, so I had I had him on speaker while I was doing other things, but, but uh, then I had my chicken that I just threw in the microwave to cook, and uh, I ate it while I was talking to him, so... I have to work tomorrow, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be showing you tomorrow, although I will at least record and tell you. But I'm going to try what Lainey does. I'm going to try after I get my lunch made for tomorrow. And before I head to work, I'll show you what I'm taking. So I just love this nail color I have on my finger. You probably can't tell. But this is like a champagne color, and it's glittery. And my nails are a lot shorter now, so... I can actually function with these. <laughs> they were really long to the point where they were starting to flip up a little bit and I didn't like that. I don't like really long nails anyway. I think they look pretty. I think I told you this. They, I think they look pretty but, yeah, but I don't like them long on me because they drive me crazy. <sighs> so today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three more days till my birthday. <laughs> Uh, I, one of my friends contacted me today. They're going to take me, her and her husband are taking me out for lunch on my birthday. So at least I'm doing something. I don't know if I'm going to get dinner out of one of my kids or not. So Andrew just said he wouldn't be up on Friday for my birthday. So he's, he thought he'd be up over the weekend sometime, but I have to work all weekend. So we'll see. All right. I'm going to let you go because I really have nothing else to say. Uh, thanks for watching and I will, uh, like I said, I'll be back to sh tomorrow to, I'll show you something tomorrow of what I'm eating. And, uh, since I'm not going to go out tonight anywhere, maybe I'll do a little bit of meal planning tonight. So I'm a little bit more ahead of the game than what I am right now. I just, <laughs> I got to get back in the groove of, you know, having a schedule where I had to be out of the house for a while. So. Anyway, working 1 to 10 tomorrow. It's a long day, but, uh, you know, there's, pick, things are picking up in Walmart because, you know, we're getting closer to the holidays. So there's a lot of people coming in and just a lot of people come in and do grocery shopping. It kind of amazes me. So, all right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a great night. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button so that you know when I am, uh, when I upload a video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.